I'm Brittany with Condi Systems and today we're going to be making a silver glass clock with chipped glass border. This looks really neat and we're going to get started by going over the items you'll need today. First I have my blank kit that comes with the silver glass. It comes with the clock and the pegs to give it a real neat finish. The image we're going to display on our clock. Heat tape. I have felt, you can also use the white felt, either one, green rubber pad, and a couple sheets of protective paper. What I'm going to do first is, you'll notice the chipped glass border. This is actually sublimatable. So you can go online and you can download a template if you'd like. Or what I've done, since I didn't use the template, I'm going to put a piece of heat tape just real quick over my chipped border to make sure that my image stays directly in the center of what I want to have sublimated. Once you have your heat tape on your edges or you've cut out your template, we're ready to align our image. So I'll just place my glass directly on top. You'll want to align your image as best as you can with your clock. And once I have it in place, I'll use a couple pieces of heat tape to hold it in place. Once I have my image in place and secured with heat tape, I can move to my press, grab my piece of felt for the bottom, place a sheet of protective paper over my felt. This is just going to make sure that no ink transfers onto the felt. If it does, then when I go to do another transfer later on, the ink may be absorbed into my other product. So it's a good idea to do that. Place it so my image is facing down and the imaging side of my substrate is facing up. I'll have one more piece of protective paper. And then I'll add my green rubber pad. We're going to press our plaque for eight minutes, medium pressure at 400 degrees. And that sound means we're done. So I'll lift up and swing away on my press. Move my rubber pad and top sheet of protective paper. Now obviously this has been in the press for eight minutes, so it's going to be extremely hot. You want to be sure to remove your transfer right away. And then I would give it a nice, cool, flat surface to cool off on. You may want to use gloves, or I'm just going to use the edges of my protective paper and lift up and give it several minutes to cool down on my table before I finish assembling my clock. I already inserted my clock, and my last step is inserting my pegs and getting it ready to stand up on my desk. For all of our products and services we offer at Condi, be sure to visit our website at condi.com and also be sure to watch more of my videos at conditv.com. I'm Brittany with Condi Systems and thank you for joining us.